Hello there. Uh, I'm going to make a little different kind of video from what I usually do here now. Because a few days ago I got a little message on YouTube from Soul Key, who is a developer of uh, truck racing online. And uh, he wanted me to review his game, so <laughs> I just said yes, I guess. Um, <laughs> Tested out for a bit over these past few days, and uh, let's just see how bad this is. And by that I don't mean the game, I mean me reviewing it, because the game is actually quite good. I, I personally think that at least <laughs> was a bit interesting. So at least, uh, I guess I'll just go over the little things we have here in the game. You have uh, the online race, which you can do solo if you want to. I tend to do it solo when I play on this, so I've completed uh, nine of these maps or levels, uh, whatever. No, not nine. Uh, <laughs> and why do I not have a thing on that? I think I managed to skip that somehow by playing level eight and then for some reason it had skipped level 5 and then it went to level 6. I think that's what happened there. Possibly. Okay, but uh, you can play this online thing here on set courses like Zoo. Either by yourself or I guess it's either with other people or with other, pe other people's high scores. I think it's with their high scores that you compete with them. Then we have the multiplayer, which is, for example, deathmatch and such with other players. Two-player split screen. I haven't tested that out because I have no friends. You have cars that you can select, which is kind of obvious in a little racing game. But here's the little thing that I reacted a bit to. <laughs> the first car you get. Norwegian. <laughs> A bit strange. I'm not sure if it just got set to this for me because I am Norwegian or if it's just randomly the one you start with <laughs> because uh, if it's some kind of intricate system that checks your IP and where you're from and then chooses the car based on that that would be kind of impressive. <laughs> And they also have a little edit, level editor and achievements. That level editor was actually pretty easy to use. I used it on my phone. <laughs> because uh, this game here is supported on all three main phone slash tablet operating systems. So it's supported on Android, iOS and Windows Phone. So that's fun. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, do a bit of this. I could, for example, go on this I have apparently not played before. And this is how many opponents. I'm not sure exactly what happens when I go with more of these. Because I haven't tested it yet. But people can test them when they play it. I'll put the link to the game in the description, obviously. And... Uh, we have some rain, collision, night, bomb car, just to change your car and environment a bit, I guess. I think collision is that you take damage when you collide with stuff. Bomb car is probably that you explode. Difficulty is something. But uh, let's just go with this. Let's test this. And uh, see what happens. Also, I can't play this game in full screen, because you have to... What? What's this? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> What's up with these cars? <laughs> you people suck! <laughs> okay, so you... Okay! Ah, that hurt my ears! <laughs> All of those cars hurt my ears! Okay, next track goes... Oh, I unlocked a new car! Sure, I want to view it. 
Yay! New Norwegian car! <laughs> Maybe. Or else it was it just the previous one. Until the new maps. <laughs> okay, but that was incredibly loud to my ears when I played with several cars. So, recommendation, volume down a bit. <laughs> that was horrible. But, uh, uh, that's just a normal race. I guess I'll just do a little something as well here to show off a little function they have. Just me alone now. Because if you, for example, should manage to crash a bit and do some kind of horrible mistake, you can press E to rewind time instead of restarting the whole course. That's a nice little function. I quite enjoy it. But uh, let's go out here. Also, I think I didn't finish the reason for why I can't go full screen, and that is because I use escape to get out up the menus. But escape also min minimizes the game to the little in window thing. But in the full screen, it reaches up to 1080p on resolution. So, nothing bad with that. Also, did I mention that it's in the Unity engine? Just for those wondering, because you need the Unity web plugin to play it in the browser. There is also a desktop download for it, but uh, that seems to be a bit outdated as of right now. So, uh, probably not the best thing to use at the moment. But then we have this little multiplayer here. That is quite amusing. So you can host the game, which I can't because I have... Or that depends, I'm not sure if it's hosted at these people's servers or if it's hosted locally, but I'm guessing that like with most games, it's hosted locally and I can't host game locally because I have half a megabit upload speed. And that is not enough to host anything. But then we can just go to a server list. Here's something, and something, and something. Lovely. But let's see if we can find, for example, a deathmatch. Kind of amusing little thing. Uh, connecting. Yes, so this takes a while. If I remember to, I may skip it, unless I get far too much to talk about here. But I don't think I will. And I probably will not remember to skip this because I'm bad with that. I am really, really bad at editing stuff out when I should have. When it's a lot of boringness. I tend to just forget about it and leave it in. <laughs> Did you know that you can download the game for Android phone on trackracingonline.com? Yes, I have already explained that. But uh, the thing with the phones is that on iOS and Android, you can't download the whole thing itself on, from the stores because it's not out there apparently. Oh, I'm in. I'll continue this later. And there we go. I selected the so that I can stare at the gun. That, that is quite good. Also, there's voice chat in this game. <laughs> I didn't hear anyone screaming now, but I did last time I was on. Also, this has been on for 249 minutes. Are you kidding me? Eh? Nitro! <laughs> yeah. yeah, it has Nitro when you shoot people. Your nitro is filled up. And then you can uh, dash forward like this. And crash completely like I did. Or possibly actually be able to do some use. But uh, that's not gonna happen. Not with me at least. Well, let's look at how good I'm at this. I would love to see some collision damage in this though. But the multiplayer thing is still in beta. And I guess that means this as well. Oh. <laughs> What? I got points for killing a random guy. <laughs> I didn't know there were random guys here, but you get points for killing them. Apparently. Okay. 
Good. So, basically what you mostly do here is that you run around and look for people to shoot to bits. But there aren't anyone near me right now. I have no idea where these people are. But this thing about no collision damage may be on the server because the collision thing earlier on my other race was probably collision damage and the server may have turned that off and I fell off. Oh, wait. Yeah, but that may be on the server and not the game. I'm not sure which it is because I didn't really check last time if I got collision damage. I was too busy shooting people and gaining nitro and dashing and listening to a lot of people screaming on the microphones. So that is good. Yeah, but uh, I guess that concludes this because I can't find any people here. So these are the different game types that was already shown when I first went in. Race, deathmatch, capture the flag and death race. I believe death race is a mix of deathmatch and race if I'm not completely mistaken, which is quite common in different racing games. Okay, but then we also have uh, this by the way. Some random pictures that you gain more of when you level up. I got that one for leveling up to level 2. And I have all of these until this woman here in level 1. Oh, actually I leveled up to 1, because my level was 0. Aha, uh -huh. yeah. But I tend to use the Hell Rider guy thing. But uh, let's take a look at the level editor. Because that's pretty easy to use, at least on the phone. This did not come on the phone. Lovely. But uh, here's a little something. You click and drag to elevate wherever you place the road and then you just click at the location and you can change it here as well and then if I take it here it doesn't just create a sharp turn it creates a curve a sharpish curve but not a sharp turn so that is something that it does by itself I'm not really good with the level editing in general so I would probably not do a good job in this anyways if I tried but I made a circle. That's good, I guess. But I'm bad at level editing. At least I managed to make something like this. And I will completely fall off, I believe. Uh, 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 uh. But falling off does not matter because I can do this. Rewind. Uh, uh, that is very good. Drift enabled, and I still fell off because I am very bad at racing games. But this was an amusing one. Uh, back to editor, and back to menu. He is. Yeah, and then we have these achievements at last. These little thing is here. Complete all tracks. Some experience stuff. I guess that's leveling up. That may be the achievement I earned. Indeed, it is. I actually got 23 kills in deathmatch. I didn't know that myself. But I played it once. I guess I got more kills than I thought. That seems like it. Yeah, but... Uh, I guess uh, that concludes it for this little uh, tab here with the game. So then I can show a bit of the main site itself, which I have in my other tab here, so I can just do this. And uh, on the bottom here you can probably see a little video playing, because that's a video normally starting up when you come on the site here. That's a bit annoying that it has auto start on, because I personally don't enjoy it when auto start is on an embedded video, because you mostly don't come to that site to watch a video, so it should have auto start off, so that you just click it if you feel the need to watch it. Alright, uh, that's the, just my opinion on auto, auto starting videos. But here we have the different versions of the game and contact info. 
So here we have the web version, which I just played. We have the download for Android, which just opens a white little tab, downloads an APK and is done. After 30 megabytes have been downloaded. Then for iOS, it downloads an IPA in just the same way. But I believe that you need a jailbroken iPhone or iPad for that to work. I'm not completely sure because I haven't tried installing things with IPAs before. But APKs should be fine without being rooted. So if you have an Android phone, just download this. Get it into uh, an SD card or something on your phone. Maybe not even that. And then just find it in the file browser and install it. And then we have the PC download, which is an unfinished version. Not as finished as the web version. And then we have Windows Phone 8. And I have a Windows Phone, so I can confirm that it is in the store there. So... You don't need to download something and mess around with stuff like that. I don't even think you can install things through files as of yet, because you can't access the file browser on Windows Phone. And then we have the contact info here. But I guess that kind of concludes what I can say about this. For anything else, you can just try the game yourself. But personally, I enjoyed it, the game. So, let's see if you do as well, whoever is watching this. Maybe no one will ever watch it. And then I will look stupid for ever having made it. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay, goodbye.